Hey YouTube, welcome to Draw This World. In the last video, you saw us fabricate and weld their old cage on. In this video, we're going to start on the suspension. So let's get started. Here's the old front suspension. It's a single A arm. The problem with that is as it moves up and down, the camera changes. To fix that, we need to build a dual A arm front suspension. And to build that, we have some flat bar, some pipe, and some round bar. So what does a dual A arm front suspension do? Well, I'll tell you. It acts as a parallelogram, which means as the wheel travels down, the camera stays the same. And as the wheel travels up, the camera also stays the same. We're not going to put a true parallelogram. The, the top A-arm is going to be a little bit shorter than the bottom A-arm, which means that the top A-arm's arc is going to be a little bit tighter. And that'll give it a little bit of camber, but that'll actually help it grip better in turns. So let's get cutting. Hey Drago, why are you at this table with all these parts? It's only been a couple minutes through the video. Well actually, for us, it's been about 12 hours. And in that 12 hours, we've machined out 8 of these pivot bushings. We did these on the lathe, so I got to use the lathe, which is a lot of fun. <coughs> 2 of these spindle bracket pivots. Those are also done on the lathe, so I got to use the lathe some more. These are the pivots themselves, ready to be loaded up. We got some of these main bars for the upper arms. <coughs> that made a lot of noise. We also cut out the brackets to mount the upper arms. And that's about it. Like I said, it's over 10 o'clock. I'm ready 
to go to bed, take a shower. See you in the morning. Guess we better start loading some stuff together. We're gonna start by loading our new suspension brackets. Now let's put an arm together. This took a long time. So long that I went through puberty and grew a mustache. And unfortunately, this is as tall as I'm ever gonna get. So what took so long? Yesterday we had a bunch of machining to do. Today, you saw me tack on this nicely bent pipe. And then the troll. You see, we only had one of these. And when I went to go bend the other three, and started making metal tacos. So we had to change the design. It used to look like this. So I go to all this trouble. Well, I'll tell ya. The stock suspension, absolute junk. Huge camera changes. The new suspension, nothing but sweetness. We still have one suspension issue, and that's hump trap. The engineers at Yerf Dog put the pivot point right in line with the frame. We're going to fix that by moving the pivot point down just a little bit. As you can see, we still got plenty to do, so you might as well subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, if you guys like go karts and mini bikes, Go check out Junk Moto. See you guys in the next video.